As you recall in the previous training video, if somebody didn't have project installed on their computer, we exported the data into an Excel file, but what if they don't have Excel either? The next best thing you could do is you could take a snapshot of a project plan view and save it as an image or paste it into Word. Well, let's say they don't have Word either. In any case, we could just save it as an image. For example, go ahead and select the uh, screen that you want to go ahead and take a snapshot and then come up here on the task tab to the clipboard group and click on the copy drop down arrow and say that you want to copy picture. You can do it for the screen, for a printer which is a little bit higher resolution or as an image file. Now if you go ahead and do it for the screen then you can open up Microsoft Word and paste it in Word. But again if they don't have Word then you can export it as an image file. You can copy the rows on the screen or selected rows if you want to select them. You can set the time scale saying, look, I just want to see the range from August the 28th through September the 1st. Let's do it as we see it on the screen. So we'll do it once. We'll do it for the screen and click OK and click. Did you hear that? So after it clicks, it doesn't do click. Let me go ahead and open up Word here. Let me give it a right click down below and select in the jump list Microsoft Word 2010, which you don't get the jump list unless you have Windows 7 or later here. And let's go ahead and click to open that up. And then come up here, you can see on the Home tab in the Clipboard group, my Paste button is active because there's something on it. Click on it and, hey, that's not too bad. Kind of small. Let me go ahead and select it and click and drag the uh, corner handle to try to stretch it open here. Or come up here on the View tab and let's go zoom in at 200%. Click OK. All right, looking a little bit better. In any case... You can go ahead and stretch the page open in Microsoft Word. You can learn about more how to set the margins and the uh, portrait or landscape options by watching my Word training videos. Boy, I'm just plugging my videos all over the place, aren't I? Okay, watch them. Let's go ahead and close out, not save it there. Then the other option was to come up here, click again on the copy drop-down arrow, copy picture, and let's export it as a GIF image file. And you can see it's going to export it. Let's do it to the desktop. Click Browse. Select Desktop in the Navigation pane, and it will be a Spiffy Software Training Manual GIF. That's the extension for the image file. Click Okie Dokie. For everything, we'll leave it as the same. Click OK. Minimize this down to the taskbar, and there's the Spiffy GIF. Double click. It opened it up in the Internet Explorer here. For the extension here, .gif, it wants to do that. You can go ahead and set this to open up in a picture viewing program. Again, you can learn more about this in my Windows uh, training videos, but let me close out of that. You can right click on it and say open with instead of Internet Explorer, which is the default. Uh, we can do paint. That's always fun. And maximize that. And eh, it doesn't look too bad, does it? You can scroll over and back. Close out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.